everyone, welcome back to Risa Does Makeup. If you're new to my channel, my name is Risa and I have been a makeup artist since 1996. And one of the most common questions that I am asked, that I have been asked over the years, especially from women over 40, has been, can I wear shimmer? Whether it's on the eyes or on the cheeks or on the lips. And in the past, the rule for wearing shimmer over 40 was no, you just shouldn't do it. It's going to emphasize fine lines and wrinkles. It's going to be aging. So we've been told that matte is better. Matte is the way to go. Once I hit 40, I did stop and think, should I not be wearing these shimmery products that I love anymore? But then I thought back to when I started my career in my 20s and I would do makeup on women that were older. I noticed that a little bit of shimmer was actually okay, that it wasn't the scary no-no that it was always perceived to be. So what I wanted to do today is just to show you a comparison between an all matte look and a shimmery look, to show you the differences on my skin. So that's what I'm doing today. And if you'd like to see a matte versus shimmer comparison and to hear more about my thoughts and the pros and cons of the two different textures on people over 40, like myself, then please keep on watching. So I'm starting off by doing just a very basic all matte look on my left eye. Now for the shimmery look on my right eye, I'm going to be using some of the same matte eyeshadows, but instead of putting the matte cream color on my lid and keeping the entire look matte, I'm going to be using this shade Rose Quartz from the Anastasia Beverly Hills Sultry Palette. I'm going to be applying this very shimmery shade to my lid. So I'm using the same colors in the crease and in the outer corner. But now instead of keeping it matte on the lid, as I mentioned, I am going to use a shimmer. And so I'm taking that rose quartz and I'm pressing and sliding it onto my lid to give it a real intense effect. The complaint that I probably hear the most when it comes to using shimmer eyeshadows is that it emphasizes texture and, for lack of a better word, wrinkling on the lids. And we all have some degree of sagging on our lids after 40. That degree varies um, based on your age and your genetics. Um, but as you can see, when my eyes are like this, when I'm sort of looking down, you can definitely, definitely see the lines over here and the crease line right here. I'm gonna try to get as close as possible. The crease line right here, much more so than you can see it on the matte side. Now, there's pros and cons to this. Shimmery eyeshadows are a lot different than they used to be where they had a lot of chunky glitter in them and they really did look sort of costumey and aging. These newer formulas actually have a way of making the eyes appear brighter and reflecting light and giving the eye a more youthful appearance. Yes, you can see the fold a little bit better, but I think when you're looking directly at me, this eye looks a little bit brighter because those light reflecting particles are opening up the eye. Now I've gone ahead and applied a little of the shimmery teak shade into my crease to show you that shimmer can actually be done in the crease as well. But I feel like having the shimmer in this area is making my eyes look more hooded. Whereas the matte shade is making the eye look a little bit more recessed and as if I have a crease. 
I don't dislike this look, but my personal preference is to keep the transition or crease color matte and leave the shimmer specifically on the lid. And now we're moving on to the face. I'm going to be doing a matte blush on this side, continuing our matte look. And then on this side, I am putting a more glowy, shimmery blush. And for the matte side, I am using Tarte's Blush in Exposed. And then on the other side, I'm using this gorgeous blush from Stellar Cosmetics in the shade Flare. Now, as you can see when I'm applying this blush, it's got almost like a highlighted effect to it. And it is emphasizing my pores in this area. While I absolutely love the look of a glowy blush, it really is going to depend on the degree of texture that you have in that area, whether or not it's going to be flattering. While, like I mentioned, shimmer on the eyes can sometimes have a smoothing, eye-opening effect, shimmer on the cheeks doesn't really tend to have that smoothing effect. It tends to just emphasize. So that's why when it comes to highlighter, you want to be very, very careful when you have over 40 skin. Of course, there are tons and tons of highlighters on the market. There are cream highlighters. There are powder highlighters. My number one highlighter formula for mature skin is liquid. Even though I have oily skin, I do feel like liquid highlighters give the most natural effect. One of my very favorites is this one from Charlotte Tilbury. It is the Hollywood Flawless Filter. A lot of people use this under their foundation to give it a glow or they mix it in with their foundation. For me, being that I am so oily, it does have a tendency to not work for me in that way, but I love it, love it, love it as a highlighter. It gives a very, very soft, subtle glow to the cheeks. I'm gonna put it on the shimmery side just to show you how it's not overwhelming. There's no chunky glitter particles and it's not making my pores look even bigger. The blush did sort of make the pores a little bit more noticeable, but this over a matte blush, and I wanna keep the side matte, so hopefully you can just tell from this that it's just giving me a nice soft sheen versus a I can see your highlight from outer space look. Now what you don't wanna use on very textured mature skin is a highlight palette like this. It's a beautiful palette. It's from Alexa Persico. It's called Brighten Me Baby. I purchased this because I saw a celebrity makeup artist use it on um, some clients and it looked beautiful, but they were on TV and under very flattering lights and very flattering photography. But in real life, chunky glittery highlighters do you no favors. And I am going to kind of go in with this. And can you see how all of a sudden my pores just popped. They just really, especially in this area, got much, much bigger. And I know some of you are thinking, well, you just put that over another highlighter and a glowy blush, but um, I've used this product alone, so you have to trust me when I say that anytime I've used a product like this that has a lot of shimmer, very heavy shimmer, some glitter particles, um, it just makes my pores look enormous. So while fine lines aren't my biggest concern right now in this area, you can just imagine how it would look if I did have not only these large pores, but some lines in this area. So my mother, who's in her 70s, she does have lines right here. I would never, ever want to put a product like this on her. Okay, moving on to lips. I have always been a much bigger fan of the glossy lip versus the matte lip. Not just when I hit 40 and up, I've always been a gloss girl. A little bit of shine on the lips makes them look more smooth, youthful, fuller, and a lot of us lose volume in our lips as we age. So having them look a little bit fuller is definitely flattering. Another thing that happens as we age is we develop some fine lines around the mouth, especially if we have spent our lives in the sun or perhaps you're a smoker and you just have more vertical lines right here. So a concern is that the gloss is going to run 
into those lines and a matte lipstick is going to stay better? Well, the answer to that is a lip liner. Now, you don't have to think back to the 90s heavily drawn on lip liner with a lighter color in the middle. I know that's the image that a lot of people see when they hear the word lip liner. They think tacky, overdone, 90s lips. You can use a clear lip liner. I know Milani makes one, some other brands make them as well. So you can use that just to create a border around the lip so the gloss doesn't travel. Or you just use a lip liner that's very, very close to your own skin tone. And you just lightly, lightly draw on your natural lip line. You can draw outside the lips a little bit when I do my mother's makeup, who I mentioned is in her 70s, she hates when I draw outside her lip line. So I never do that for her. Now I'm going to apply a matte liquid lipstick. This one's from Puda Beauty and it goes on sort of shiny, but then in a minute it's going to become completely matte. Now as the lipstick is drying, you can sort of see how it is emphasized the lines on the lips, which makes them look drier and older. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a shimmery gloss. Now this is one of the best ways to wear shimmer. If you're still fearful of using any type of shimmer on your eyes or on your cheeks, you can add a little pop of glow to your lips. The gloss I'm using right now is Diamond Milk from Fenty Beauty. And I'm going to put it on the shimmery side. So here we have the all matte side. I know it might look a little bit glowy in this area, but that's just because I have very oily skin, as I mentioned, and under these lights for the time that I've been sitting here, the oils have broken through a little bit, but you can definitely tell in comparison to this side that this is far more matte. And I've got a lot more glow and texture on this side. So to finish off this video, I have gone and even myself out and made the entire look shimmery. It's just a lot easier to make it all shimmer than all matte again. I used a little bit of the Hollywood Flawless Filter in this area just so you can see how nice it is without emphasizing a lot of texture in this area. Now you don't have to use this specific product. I am just trying to say that a liquid could be something to look at over a powder if you do have more textured skin. And then I just went and added some more gloss. I wanna finish this video off by saying that when it comes to makeup, there really are no hard and fast rules. A couple of years ago, I did a video called Busting Makeup Myths, and I really think I should update that one and make it fresh and new because I think a new audience needs to see it. Sure, there are going to be products and textures that are definitely going to be more flattering. And that's something that you have to experiment with on your own and decide for yourself. I would never tell somebody to not wear something that they really liked. I feel like if something is making you happy and makes you feel good, then by all means, wear it. Do you. This video is just supposed to be a visual representation of what the different textures look like on someone whose skin is over 40. It's not to tell you what you should or shouldn't do. It's just to maybe open your eyes to a different method, or maybe if you've been afraid to try shimmer that you will give it a chance. Maybe if you just put a little dab on the lid, or maybe try that shimmery gloss that you would never have thought to, or maybe use a, a highlighter when you would never have thought it was okay. So just keep that in mind. I really try to stress that in all my videos, that makeup should be fun. I know it can be intimidating. There are so many products out there on the market. And as our skin changes, when we get older, there are a lot of things to consider, new things to consider when it comes to products and applications. So that's what my channel is for. That's what I hope that I bring you on a regular basis is help in navigating what the waters of getting a little bit older, but still wanting to look our best and putting a little effort into our appearance because there is absolutely nothing wrong with that. And I really appreciate every single one of you for watching my videos and subscribing. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, please hit that subscribe button and become part of the Risa Does Makeup family. You can also find me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter under the same username, Risa Does Makeup. If you did enjoy this video, I always appreciate you giving it a thumbs up. And I think that'll do it. If you have any questions at all, please don't hesitate to leave them for me in the comments. And I look forward to seeing you in my next video.